countrywide, we've got about uh, 400 farmers that are still white farmers, still on the land in some way or another. Many of those are uh, perhaps not actually living on the land. Um, they're living in town and managing to operate from a distance so that they're not uh, seen as white people on the land. Um, and that way they're, they're managing to keep going. Um, but those 400 are dwindling all the time. There's eviction orders uh, going out all the time. There's a new act at the moment which we believe will be promulgated next month. Um, which we're very concerned about, which will ensure that the last uh, 400 are, are basically removed from the land. As to how they're managing at the moment, I think with, with great difficulty. There's a tremendous amount of tenacity, I think, amongst the last that are left. They've survived six years of uh, violence and, and thuggery. Um, and many of them have been badly beaten, many of them have uh, had terrible things to have to contend with. It's actually a very sad situation all round. Um, without an economy, without uh, an engine, as it were, for a country to actually create the wealth to supply the things that a population needs, all you see is uh, destruction all around us and, and as a result our doctors are leaving, our nurses are leaving, our teachers are leaving, our lawyers are leaving, all the professionals that we were very proud of in this country, a very well, well educated population, all those people are, are leaving. The, the middle class that is so lacking in so many African countries, almost every African country just does not have a middle class. We had a middle class in this country and that class is the class of people that has left. 25% of our population has now left the country and they're benefiting other countries um, in other places. But, uh, and we're left with the, the very rich and the very poor. We're going to see Dirk and Heidi Misaki who uh, have been here, well they came back having been to university and everything in South Africa just after or just before the land invasion started um, back onto the family farm um, and then they bought a small plot uh, shortly after the invasion actually started I think um, but they've lost about 95% of their land they're still here they've had a lot of uh, problems to try and deal with over the last six years and it's, it's just been a, a constant battle for them but they, they've remained upbeat and they've managed to concentrate their farming enterprises by, by spending a lot of money in um, putting up greenhouses and um, growing flowers and so they grow flowers now for export and uh, they've actually kept their turnover going somehow through that. They're one of the few people within Zimbabwe that have actually still got some faith in the law. Uh, very few people now use the law courts in any way uh, because they've been so intimidated into making sure that uh, people don't use the law. When people use the law, uh, the war veterans, the district administrators, the police even get very upset with you. And so uh, many people uh, have completely abandoned um, the use of the courts or the law in any way. And so it's now a purely patronage system where you have to be on the right side of the local warlord or the local district administrator or the local governor in order to be able to have the privilege of living in your own home. If you want to buy a farm, you've got to offer the farm first to the, to the government. And the government says, do they want it for resettlement or don't they? And then if they say they don't want it, then they offer you with a certificate of no interest, saying the government's got no interest in your land. You can now go, go ahead with a purchase. And so, so we did that. And we actually bought the plot after the land reform had started. 
And with the idea that it was small, because when the whole thing started, the theory was they only wanted farms. So we thought, well, it's a plot, and it was 45 hectares, and thought it, it, should be, it should be fine to go ahead and buy it. They issued us a letter of no interest. We moved in, and two weeks later, we were actually busy um, repainting the outside to move in. Um, the man drove in here with his offer letter and said, well, he's been issued this offer letter. Yeah, and that's when it all started. So the house has been going very much in fits and starts ever since then. The woman who was here on the day that, that they were trying to throw us out, um, it was him and his wife, and she was waving her finger in my face. <laughs> and the, and the, um, the, the man who was the lands officer was standing on the other side and the two of them were shouting at me and she said to me, you wicked, you wicked, because I'd written on the door um, the, the last verse of Psalm 1 which said that the Lord um, protects the ways of the righteous but destroys the ways of the wicked and, and it really got them upset because they said I'd call them wicked and she said to me, you wicked, she said, you, and then she said to her, why am I wicked and she said to me, because you are resisting moving off so I said to you, you know, why, really, why should we be moving off? I said, we bought this land, and I said to you, we paid for it. And I said, if you really wanted it, you could have bought it and paid for it, just like everyone else. And then um, she said, but you, you are wicked. And he was saying that the other lands officer was shouting in my ear. And eventually I said to him, what are you saying? And he's saying, your mother and father raped my mother and father. And I looked at him and I said, who's your mother and father? Who, who are they? And he looked at me and he said, and she just, and both of them stopped. And she said to me, "You're too young to know the history of this country." So I said, "Well, I'm not young, in, not that young that I'm not living through the history at this stage." I said, "It's all been been put back into a circle again." And for some reason, they perceive us. They they're throwing this whole thing back. I just I just don't know what they've all been been told and fed and brainwashed. But they see us as being absolutely awful. I think the guys that's been hardest hit of everyone is the was the old farm worker which is now basically working for like half a loaf of the half a bread today. These are the guys that's been affected by far the most. And they can't afford school fees. Um, they die of 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 of, uh, of malaria, which is a treatable it's not something that you die of. Because there's no uh, medicine to treat it with. So I think yeah, we, we can maybe complain about not getting sugar or um, any other commodity, but we can still live. And, but most of the other people can't live. I believe that government's ultimate aim is to ethnically cleanse the land of all the last remaining whites. Um, I believe that this has been the policy ever since the referendum in February 2000 when uh, the people voted for um, government not to be able to take the land without compensation and uh, m the majority of the people of this country actually voted along that line within two weeks the invasions actually started there were parliamentary elections due in the next uh, two months and they suddenly realized that they had to crack down very hard, um, especially in the commercial farming areas where a lot of the pop population actually lived and worked um, as em employees on the commercial farms. And so long as there were white people around, uh, they found it difficult to, we say, skull bash um, in the way that uh, they wanted to skull bash in order to intimidate the population into voting for them. And so while there are still white people remaining on the land, uh, those areas, it's, it's very difficult for them to skull bash as they, as they would like. Um, whenever we get an election coming up, it, it, it just uh, goes into overdrive, this intimidation and the punguis all night long. And, um, so, yes, I believe that the ultimate aim of the government is to ensure that there are none of us left on the land.